What is up guys? It is Bricklover18 here today in my Lego room to give you guys a tour of my Lego bookshelves. I've got these Billy bookcases from Ikea lining the walls of my Lego room here. It's where you will find a majority of the sets that I have in my collection. There are hundreds and hundreds of sets, thousands, hundreds of thousands of Lego parts and is really my pride and joy and the focal point in my Lego room. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a full tour so you can see everything I've got on display. So in this far shelf here in my Lego room, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous things. These are some boats, a pencil pot holder. This is uh, some stages and some more entertainment things like the Channel 18 news vehicles, my limos, and then this Lego transport. Down here, I've got the corner gas set and my corner gas custom minifigures, including this Lego treehouse. Then I've got some just houses and things like that that didn't make the cut into the Lego city, as well as some more recreational vehicles and a snowplow. Down here, again, more houses. A lot of these are more cabins, I guess you could say. These ones would more fit on a beach. And then there's that treehouse, as well as some garbage trucks. And then down here is just another shelf of, you know, cars and stuff like that that didn't make it into the Lego city. Below is all my pick-a-brick cups, and these are all the overflow parts, like I talked about in the magnets. So when I know what parts are in here, they are actually on the magnet. And these are just too big, too many parts, and too large of quantity to fit in my Pappy Mac storage bin. So instead of overflowing them, I just put them in the pick-a-brick cups down here, and I don't need to use them very, very often. Beside that, I've actually got two shelves of Lego books. So these ones here are more traditional Lego books, the ones that you can read and you know learn stuff from and look at pictures. And then over here are more magazines and other you know, activity books, things like that, things that you can build from. And as you guys can see, I've got a lot of magazines and a lot of catalogs down there. Above this first set of books, I've got a couple different Lego City sets. So these are the Volcano Explorer sets, as well as the Arctic Explorer sets. Up here, I've got some, I guess I could say, older Lego sets. This is the Medieval Hut, and then of course some Harry Potter sets, and then this Random Agent sets, and I think this is a Monster Fighter set over here, which still is pretty cool. Above that, I've got some pirate sets, which is Pirates of Barracuda Bay, and then a few of the other, you know, miscellaneous pirate things that come along here, and then this Lego Pirates flag that looks like it's falling down a little. Above that, I've got some Lego boats in my Lego collection. You guys know how much I love boats and how important they are to me. So, of course, I've got them all laid out right here. Beside that, I've actually got my Lego minifigure factory collection, which I'm showing you guys in a recent video coming very, very soon. But these are all the Lego minifigures that I have on display. I've got my New York postcard and room for the other new postcards coming soon. I've got the Lego friends apartment as well as this speed racers car and then i've got some more pop culture things like the big bang theory the flintstones and the friend central perk down here i've got one of the very first lego sets i ever got which is the lego city police station and beside that i've got a bunch of lego city vehicles lego all lego city police so this is essentially the police shelf Below that, I've actually got the Home Alone set, which is one of the largest Lego sets that I do have in my Lego collection. And then right below that, I've got some more fire sets and some more police sets. All Lego City here. That's the first fire station I ever received, as well as the Forest Police Headquarters. Besides that, I've actually got all of my Lego brickheads, which is a custom-made shelf that my dad made for me, and it displays all the brickheads that I currently own. So they're all but the seasonal ones, actually, because they're in another part of this video, but I even got the animal ones, and they're all nicely laid out here. And as you guys can see, this shelf is almost full, so eventually I'm going to have to start double stacking them because there's only half a shelf left for new brickheads that will be coming out. Beside that, I've got all my Lego helicopters. So I am also a huge fan of helicopters. So I've, you know, accumulated quite the collection over the years of all the different models and stuff like that that they have. Really, really excited about all of these. I've got my Lego Ninjago shelf, which is the, basically the only Ninjago sets I own. These were all sent to me by Warner Brothers for the release of the Lego Ninjago movie. Down here, I've got my Scooby-Doo sets, which I loved Scooby-Doo as a kid. It was incredible. So I've got everything down here, as well as the Emmett's Mech from the Lego Movie, just because it was too large to fit on the Lego Movie shelf. And then I've got all the Scooby-Doo characters down here, which if you guys have watched that video, that Velma took a lot to get. I paid over $100 for that to get that figure. So very, very excited to have that on display. And then down here, just a bunch of miscellaneous Lego City sets that have kind of been tossed there. I've got my Lego train sets down here, which I've just got two trains side by side. Unfortunately, they're not on tracks or anything nicely. And then I've got the train station. I've got a couple shelves of Lego movie sets. I love the Lego movies. This is Lego movie one and two plus the Batman sets, all just kind of 
thrown in here some of the newer ones you know that i got back way back in 2014 and some of the ones from 2018 2019 so very very nice here i've got the benny spaceship which is a set that i'll continue to love above that i've got the disney sets which are the disney train and the train station as well as the mickey and minnie mouse buildable characters and then up here i've got some lego architecture sets you know san francisco las vegas paris tokyo very very cool i love these and then up here i've got the lego jazz quartet which is a set i reviewed recently and the lego fish tank here i've got a bunch of my favorite lego minifigures or like exclusive lego things this shelf honestly could do a whole video on its own but i'll give you just a brief overview you know you've got my brick badge a bunch of lego minifigures grand opening store minifigures 100 lego stores and then of course the golden lego sprue which i love and it's just such a special set to me and then below that i've got some convention exclusive sets which include you know the nathan phillips square which is a toronto landmark the peace tower from ottawa and then these are some from you know philly brickfest philly brickfest brick fair virginia 2013 i believe and more philly brickfest down below that i've got some of my lunar new year sets i've actually got two shelves of lunar new year so this is just a you know a majority a, a compilation of all the different sets i've also got some of the red envelopes which is really really fun in lego and then this one i just finished building more recently and i've got to expand that here i've got a lego hospital and the lego bank and then some lego agent sets and the space police set and i've just got to do some more work to the shelf and rebuild my lego agents transport because that's supposed to go here and then down here i've just got some lego construction vehicles here's just a miscellaneous shelf full of sets i've reviewed recently i've got a bunch of lego creator three-in-one animals over here a bunch of lego mixels and poly bags and then up here just a bunch more poly bags a lot of these you guys may have seen on mini build mondays and things like that above that i've got my lego space shelf which has got the space station uh this this rocket here which is really cool and there's even a rocket at the two rockets at the back i didn't even realize that but absolutely love these sets and i still have another rocket i still have to build i've got the lunar lander set up here next to my lego super mario bros tv and then up here even more classic lego space some of these are newer but meant to look older i like the vintage minifigure collection but then some of these are actually very very old and are from you know the 80s and the 90s over here, I've got my Lego White House and Lego Architecture sets. So this is the newer White House that obviously came out a couple years ago. And then this is the much older one from like 2014. Below that, I've got some European architecture sets. So I've got the Big Ben, which I actually purchased in London. And then, of course, I've got the actual London set itself. These exclusive minifigures, both from all from London, as well as the London bus. I've got a taxi here from Me Models, which is a company that doesn't even exist anymore. And then I've just got some exclusive Lego sets like the 60 Year sets and and then some sig figs for my other channels below that i've got my denmark exclusive sets for when i went to denmark you know i've got the lego house the billand airport the bricks from the lego house that i got the parts from the billand restaurant a few polaroids in my lego room in that lego cup and then some fish tank builds from the lego house below that some more lego exclusive sets so these are like the vip poly bag um some jeffrey sets from toys r us the lego store a mini model of the lego store this lego store i actually bought in london as well as well as the bricklink designer program set of the lego factory and then below that i've just got an empty shelf the lego capital building as well as this huge lego boat up here i've got a bunch of brick loot sets which are really cool brick loot when i used to do those every month i kept all of them here i've got a bunch more exclusive lego sets some custom made ones some poly bags 40 years, a Legoland cup, once upon a brick, more Legoland sets, the Amelia Earhart, and then that's actually my dad and I at Legoland in Bill in Denmark. Here I've got some more sets that I absolutely love, like the Lego House Home of the Brick Tree of Creativity, some more exclusive sets, gifted purchases, a mock Brick Lover 18, the wooden minifigure, the Lego Statue of Liberty, this cup from Legoland, all filled with Lego bricks, as well as this really cool Lego Ideas tree. And then, of course, I've got the Lego camera up there. And that's actually a brick with my university name on it, which is really, really cool. They gave that to me one day, and I've never seen it since. So I love that. Back here, I've got some of the Lego uh, helmets, as well as the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and some of the Star Wars brick sketches. I've got the 501st Battle Pack and then my very first and only lego studio sets from bubba bricks and another lego mug down here is just some more gift of purchases uh, some rare minifigures a custom safe um, some things from toys r us there and then some more brick sketches and then on the very bottom here i've just got a bunch of lego boxes all of these are empty most of these are sets that i have 
on display, including with that shelf here. And then I've just got my X-Acto knife and my shoe box. I've got this Lego castle box here, this Lego castle set, which is very, very old next to the minions in the Minecraft. And then I've got just some more sets that I absolutely love, like the Exosuit and the Steamboat Willie. And then above that, even more Lego idea sets. You know, these are more science-y based sets. So I've got the fossils and I've got the Research Institute and the Woman of NASA set. And then up here, I've got the ship in a bottle as well as some of the year of sets and some Toys R Us exclusive builds. And then this shelf here is mostly all Lego seasonal sets. So I've got just boxes down there with extra minifigures. These are miscellaneous seasonal. These are all the seasonal brickheads as well as my Lego shoes. These are all Christmas sets up here. There's like four shelves of Christmas sets, which is really, really cool. And then even more up here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out today's tour of the Lego bookcases. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything in closer up detail to see really, a, you know, a vast majority of my Lego collection, my displays, and everything that I have and am very, very passionate about. I'm so proud of all these bookshelves here and they've really, you know, filled up. And I remember buying these bookshelves. I bought only seven originally and I made it get an eight and then I had to buy four more and I'm just so, so excited uh, and I love the way they look here in my Lego room. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do not forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Stay tuned because I've got lots more videos coming soon all about Lego and all about the stuff you see on these shelves here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.